And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, happy summer, folks. It is officially the first morning of summer. Summer kicked off at 1.04 a.m. earlier this morning. Check out the beautiful sunrise looking north from our Rencam. Beautiful start to the day. Temperatures sitting right around 64 degrees. Winds are calm at this point. We are expecting those winds to gust up as high as maybe 10 to 20 miles per hour later in the day today. And those southerly winds we're expecting, well, they're going to help boost those temperatures quite a bit. We'll even be warmer than yesterday. We topped out at 87 degrees here in West Lafayette yesterday afternoon. You can see over the last 12 hours, really looking at pretty nice condition, conditions. Some light cloud cover here and there, and even the isolated rain to our west completely deteriorating over the last hour or so. So all that rainfall moving eastward, really it's going to be coming in the form of upper level moisture. A few light clouds later this afternoon. We are looking at a nice sunny day, however, a very hot day to to say the least. Afternoon high temperatures today will be about six degrees above the average for this time of the year. We're looking at an afternoon high here in West Lafayette of 90 degrees. 90 degrees will be your high temperature today. We are also looking at heat indices maybe up around 95 at times, so please just be safe out there later this afternoon. And that pretty much goes for the entire extended forecast. Very, very hot temperatures expected for the first week of summer. Winds will be from the south right around 10 to 15 miles per hour later this afternoon, feeling a lot like summer this afternoon before temperatures fall right back down to the mid to low 60s overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. 66 for West Lafayette will warm or cool off to around 63 degrees in Crawfordsville, 63 as well in Attica before warming back up into the 90s tomorrow. Now the difference tomorrow, we're looking at a slightly more humid air mass sitting over the viewing area. So you take the heat that we're going to be seeing, the low 90s, you mix that with the humidity, you get convective activity. That pushes all that moisture up into the upper atmosphere, creates isolated showers and thunderstorms. Not a whole lot of organ of the system. We're expecting those very sparse and isolated showers and thunderstorms to pop, especially during the afternoon and evening hours before clearing out overnight tomorrow night into Sunday morning. Afternoon high temperatures tomorrow, about a degree warmer, 91 year high temperature for Saturday. Partly cloudy throughout much of the day. Those isolated showers and thunderstorms coming during the afternoon and evening hours. Winds will be from the south right around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now, believe it or not, 90 and 91. Those will actually be some of the cooler days during our extended forecast. Check out these very, very hot temperatures. 90 today, 91 tomorrow. Look at the isolated chances of rainfall almost each and every day throughout the next seven days as well. We get up to 92 on Tuesday and Wednesday before our first organized chance of rainfall arrives Wednesday night into Thursday morning, Liz. That will come in the form of a cold front producing isolated showers and thunderstorms along that line. And we could be seeing some stronger thunderstorms as well. Temperatures fall from 92 on Wednesday to 83 degrees for Thursday afternoon. Now, granted, before that, we are looking at a very hot string mm -hmm. of six days and a very humid string as well. A lot of humidity, a lot of heat, feeling a lot like summer, especially to kick things off for the first day of summer today. Yeah, I guess it's good timing, right? Oh, perfect. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't get much better than this. You for know, summer. yesterday, yeah. the last day of spring, 87 degrees. Today, first day of summer, even hotter. And with the humidity moving in, it is really, really going to feel like the summer months. Okay, thanks, Cameron. Yeah.